Hey, it's Chip Desard with Web Video Chefs. So I wanted to show you a tutorial, some stuff I've been playing around with Final Cut Pro. So this is a new Final Cut Pro X, or whenever you're watching this, it's been released recently, and there's been a lot of buzz on the interwebs that it's iMovie Pro. What in the world is going on? The sky has fallen, all things are wrong with the world, and iMovie Pro has shipped. Even though we saw a preview back in April, we knew exactly what it was going to look like, but we were hoping it was something else. Anyway, let's get back into the editing video so you won't hear my personal opinion. So here's Final Cut, and let's go to iMovie real quick. iMovie. Final Cut. iMovie. Hmm, similar, 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 similar. All right. Okay, so let's go back into, you know, in iMovie, you, you see me here, you can select your clips, you know, you could just do like that, and then you can put it up, you have your project library here, so I have my first project here that I have, and then once I select some clips, you know, in iMovie, you can just do this, and then you can just put it up there with a little, you know, cheesy transition if you like, all that good stuff, you know, or, or yeah, let's see some cheesy transitions right there. Okay, the uh, editor would rarely use, um, or we could do this transition, hit done, there we go. Okay, so that's me talking about exercise, blah, 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 blah. So let's say we have a lot of footage already, a lot of projects. I just have two projects here, green screen and then one called my first project. Let's just bring this into Final Cut Pro and um, Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm just going to minimize that. I'm going to go up to file import or you can always go import iMovie project okay so I'm going to do that it locates my iMovie projects that are on my movies folder already and I'm going to go to my first project hit import there it is it just imports it just like that now it's h264 you see this thing running it was running real quick and in the background and it was transcoding um, it did it kind of quick but um, um, that's interesting there I also want to talk later about this whole sharing uh, monitor this is like the batch monitor at least in my opinion in compressor and uh, it can this thing could do h2 h.264 like a CS5.5 um, and not uh, not have to render so anyway let's go back up here so I have um, this event right here so it says an image just ws i imported and imported it into this event now i need a project in order to do that so you have two different ways of looking at this thing one way is you could scroll through right here and hear it okay i could click on this i can get some info about the clip color balance all that other stuff not analyze it and audio and then i get the info I can just call it, um, you know, chip walking if I want. And there it is right there. So I have some notes here. Uh, shot with iPhone 4. Um, it shows a Kodak that was used, the duration, all that good stuff. Now you have a basic view. You have extended view. So let's go to extended view, the real, the shape, the shot, the demo, all the other good stuff, pull down, um, orientation all that other stuff that you can see with that. So we will just hide that for now. Let's be walking. So just like a Final Cut Pro, you got in. Actually, if I want to in, let's move this back. You can do your in right here. And then if I want to out, I just put my playhead here, hit O, all right? And then I need to go ahead and create a new project. So I'm going to do a new project. And then I can call it in this default event. So think, remember, you had capture scratch. Now you have events. And let me tell you, for those who have never used iMovie, this is going to come as, you know, 180 degree. Like, what in the world is this stuff? Um, I'm fortunate to know iMovie. Um, people hate it, but I, I've used it before. I've used all these software programs. So it's coming pretty easy once I get my mind wrapped around it. So remember, you have project files, events. Events are kind of like like uh, where your files are stored. I don't want to say it's capture scratch per se, but it's just saying um, those are like a it's like a library, a library of files. So anyway, we'll call this chip walking, and then we'll put it in. We'll leave it in this default event right here. All right. Now you can custom set it. 
to 1080p, 1920, 23, your frame rates, or you can set it automatically with your first clip. Now, remember Final Cut 7, when you put things down, remember it gave you that yes or no uh, dialog box? Uh, but this is just, I'm gonna set these based on my first video clip. And then I'm gonna use a default surround sound, and I'm just going to not do anything with there. But um, like I said, on Final Cut 7, you could hit the yes or no if you wanted to conform to the current settings. And that's what I used to do anyway, so I'll just leave it like that. All right, there's our project. Now, here's our main timeline right here. I'm going to minimize that. So I'm just going to either do one or two things. I could just pull this down like this, you know, it's a long way, and just put it in my timeline like that. Now, there are many other ways to do this, guys. I mean, shortcuts, um, you know, there are like three other ways to do this thing. So let's go. Let's look. Okay. So it's me walking up a hill, just looking at it, things like that. So when I see this in a project, um, I see my waveforms. Remember before on Vinyl Cut 7, you had to double click something down here to see your waveforms and to see the line and things like that. All right. See, I could just move it up, DBs things like that okay um, also uh, what else you could do a fade in if you look real closely I just did a, a ramp in with this little button right here of my audio and before you had to keyframe that but that's already there right there okay and then if I want to fade the audio out right there I can fade that out okay show video animation I just right clicked edit effects you can um, analyze and stabilize and go to effects browser so let's go to effects browser and that just opens this thing right here so if you're familiar with iMovie let's go back to iMovie real quick and let's go back to iMovie if you see this thing this looks very familiar you see uh, uh, effects browser down here you see everything so Apple's tried to make their programs look alike across the pro and the um, the consumer version some people will say it may be dumbing it down some people may say hey people go to iMovie will love Final Cut Pro because it will look a lot the same so you can add noise I can make an age film I have a lot of so what I want to do I can make a heat wave I can uh, saturation you, you know I could just preview it right here without putting it on my timeline and scrub that's a good thing about it. see the ND red all this other stuff I mean, it has some king things, some tiling, and other things like that. So, subway shadow. Personally, I like bleach bypass. So, let's look for the beach bleach bypass one. Uh, let's go. Through. Here it is. Here's my bleach bypass. Makes me look real uh, dark and hot. But let's see. And it actually plays it through there. You have that little bar. Now, let's look at this thing right here. Oh, it went so quickly. Okay, rendering. There it is in the background. Background render. But I'm playing it as it's rendering. And then when I play it, it pauses the render. So that's one good thing about it. See, when I stop and I do my thing, and then it pauses pause the render. So this thing is background task. It's this little button here. Um, I'm going to go over some other features in our webinar. We're having a webinar soon at Web Video Chef. So I'm not going to go over too many things right now. So this is just how you import an iMovie project right now and then get all these effects you have titles here just like iMovie some of them very cheesy I'll just be honest with you um, some of them are is what you just had so um, if I want to look like bookie nights or whatever you know you can just put that title on here double click that and um, you can edit effects and things like that there's my title actually let me go to the title right there and uh, you can go from there so that's just um, that's just a brief, brief overview of, of um, not, I'm calling this iMovie, but Final Cut Pro. There's my title. Uh, there's my text. And then I could just put, uh, you know, my name, Chip Desard. Okay. Let's just put, move that over a little bit. And then. Okay. So, like I said, we're doing a tutorial on this whole Final Cut Pro workflow. That's a brief overview. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, ask at webvideochefs.com. I'm Chip Desard, and I'll see you soon.